Hi guys, this is always back with another tutorial of AutoCAD series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create layers and modify them. So, just go to your home menu. Here we got the layer panel. So, I've got a few options here. I'll go through step by step each of them. So, first of all, what we want to do, we want to create layers. Why we want to create layers to differentiate between objects. Let's say, I've got different kinds of objects in this drawing. I've got walls, I've got windows, door, I've got interior, and I've got bathroom stuff here. So it's a good practice that you make layers from the start of your drawing and keep working on them because later on when your project go bigger and bigger, it's very hard to change any object to a specific layer. So what I want to do now is I want to create some layers so how you can do that you click on this layer properties panel and here I've got three layers over there you can see that what is our current layer and you can see that here as well let's go through about these four options here with this button I can create a new layer and I can press alt n anytime on your drawing I can create a VP frozen layer I can delete layer and I can make that layer current so let's create some layers so how many of how many kinds of objects I've got in this drawing I've got walls I've got windows I've got interior I've got bathroom stuff and I've got text so in this video I'll just make three layers for wall windows and door okay so click on this button and now I can give a name a dash wall it's good practice to give a name start by A because it will represent architectural drawing. Create a new layer A dash door. Create a new layer A dash window. Okay, so now I've got a few options here. I've got on freeze lock. So if you want to turn off your layer or turn it back on, you can do that here. You can freeze your layer, you can lock your layer, you can even give a color to your layer. It's the best practice to give your colors because that's how you can recognize that what is that object and what's that object on the layer. So I'll start giving some colors to my three of these layers. I'll give these layers to color red for the wall. I'll change door color to blue. Or click OK. I'll change this color to yellow. My layers are ready now so before I get to my drawing and start applying those layers I just want to mention one thing. Let's say you got these things on the top of your layer. You got status, you got all the descriptions of your line type, color, whatever it is. So if you right click, you got a few options here, unfreeze column, optimize column. So if I go optimize all column, so now as you can see, you can't read the name. You can't see that it's, if it's saying on, frozen or line way. So if you're AutoCAD showing that, that way, so you can do that by right clicking and maximize all column. So let's go and apply some layers now. So my current layer is zero now. So whatever I draw, let's say I draw a line here, whatever I draw, it will be on layer zero. So if I delete and go and change my layer to wall, and now is on the property smell, you can see that the, it's by layer, color is by layer, by layer, line weight, line type is by layer. So if I draw a line now, it's automatically drawing on wall layer because our current layer is wall layer. So whatever you draw would be drawn on your current layer. So one more thing, I'll go in here and I draw a line here now. And I draw another line, but I will change this color to yellow. And now if I draw my line, the color would be yellow. It's very confusing, so it's very good practice that you leave all these three by layer because it gets so confusing so I'll change that to by layer okay so in the drop down layer menu we got this option I can turn off 
turn on any layer I can select the layer to make it current let's say if I selected this door and I go and select the lower the door will be changed to that layer but our wall will come back to the previous wall so you make sure you are not selecting anything and then go and change that layer so that would be your current layer so let's go and try these options here it's got you got the same option turn on turn off layers you can isolate layers you can freeze layer let's show you what isolate means so let's say you got this zero a door drawing here and you want to isolate that because that's too messy around it and you want to only work on this object so you can click on this command isolate and then select the door and press spacebar and now the rest of the drawing has been isolated so no matter what you do try to delete or make any edit it would not work but that's drawing has been isolated so to de-isolate you can un-isolate all alright guys that's it for now subscribe to the channel for more tutorials on AutoCAD and I'll talk to you guys in the next video